Uh, I am here now standing in the NEO Vision Room, where we will talk to you about our vision for the car of the future, specifically about our vision for the autonomous cars of the future. To us, autonomous vehicles and autonomous cars go way beyond the technology. As exciting as the technology is, to us, the vision is really around people. And we are focused as a company in making life better for billions of people around the world. The power with autonomous vehicles is that it really democratizes mobility and provides access to mobility for people who are unable to drive or have restricted ability in, in their uh, needs to drive around. So autonomous vehicles really are, our vision is to create the capability where they give people their time back. We will be able to bring this technology so that you get your time back to be everything you want to be, productive, playful, and peaceful. We have a short video that captures our vision for the car of the future. Let's now watch that. In the future, my car is going to be like a spaceship. A spaceship with wheels. It'll have special powers. If I called, it would come and get me. With just a wave of my hand, the door will open, just like magic. It'll recognize me. It knows how I feel. What I'm thinking. And it will drive all by itself. It's just like home. It's just like my living room. I can feel safe and cozy. My mommy and daddy can sit together, talk to their friends thousand miles away while I can sit in the front all by myself I can discover the whole world go on adventures when I get tired there will be a seat so comfy it feels like a cloud I can see all the stars. There's the lion. While I'm asleep, my car would watch out for people in the street. It'll speak to other cars in a secret language. And it's going to look so cool. Like, it's from the future. One day, it will be real, and I'll call it Eve. Great. Now I would like to have a few of my colleagues that are here from our global team to join me. I would like to first invite uh, William Lee. William is the founder of NEO. Uh, William, if you would please join me. Marco. I would also like to invite uh, Lee Hong. Lee Hong leads our team in China. Lee Hong, welcome. And uh, last but not least, the creative genius behind Eve and all of our products, Chris Thomason. <laughs> Chris is uh, the head of our worldwide design organization headquartered in Munich. Now we are ready for the moment that Let's you go. have all been waiting for and we have been waiting for. We will do a big reveal and show you our vision for the car of the future. You guys ready? Yes. Let's do it. Yeah. 
two, two one, one. Live. So the, the Neo Eve has been designed from the inside out for autonomy. The interior adapts to your needs and your moods, be it to relax, to connect, or simply to, to discover the world outside. The heart, the soul, and the brains of the car are embodied here in Nomi. Nomi is your digital companion, enabled through artificial intelligence. Here's a short video that explores Nomi and some of the blue sky thinking that went into Eve. Take a look. So I'm sure all of you want one of Eve's right now. Uh, so stay tuned. As I said before, we are working hard to put your nameplate on a car that looks uh, almost like this. Uh, we'll be bringing this into the market by 2020. We're working with many industry leaders uh, and in embodying a lot of these uh, innovation into reality. We're working with industry leaders such as Mobileye, um, who was here with us today, uh, NVIDIA, and NXP. So stay tuned, and uh, we will be working very hard to bring a beautiful product that is intuitive, that is your companion, that is your living space, that keeps you safe wherever you want to go and fulfills all of your mobility needs for the future. Thank you very much. I'm now happy to take a few questions from our online audience. And those of you in the room, we will spend a few minutes with you afterwards. And I'm happy to take questions from all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Padma. Um, so a question online in regards to the level of autonomy that your US vehicle will have. Um, can you talk a little bit about that? And the follow-up is, will it have steering wheels and pedals? Yeah, it's a great question. So as, as most of you know, there's uh, different levels in autonomy. Today, most of the industry is at level 2, 2.5. Uh, our goal is to bring what we call level 4 autonomy into production in 2020. Uh, by level 4 autonomy, what we mean is the car will be completely capable of driving itself in uh, constrained environments. You know, initially, we're targeting our use cases to solve the 
problem of commute that all of us here face around the world, actually. And we're targeting our vehicle to really be optimized to solve that commute use case. Um, and then your second question was, will it have steering and paddles? And so, yes, we think it's important to help us as consumers make this transition. Uh, we've, we've all been taught to drive the cars with wheels and, and uh, have braking systems. So we'll continue to deploy our autonomous vehicles where you can drive a beautiful car like this. If I had an Eve, I would want to drive it once in a while. Um, and so, but as you saw in the video, we are working on technologies where the steering and pedals will retract when it's in full autonomy. Okay, great. So the next question um, is in regards to the price of the US vehicle. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so obviously we'll announce the price as we get closer to the launch, but uh, directionally we are targeting a premium market for this vehicle. Okay, great. Um, we probably have time for one more question, um, and that is, uh, well, I'm sure people want to know if they can, they can buy one of these, but when will the, the full vision of EVE come to life? So the EVE is a vision car. As uh, Chris pointed out, it, it does reflect and embodies a lot of the blue sky thinking. Um, having said that, the engineering team in uh, California and Silicon Valley, working with our partner teams across the world, uh, we are inventing a lot of things that have to be redone. You know, I think uh, in my language, I call this car 3.0. Uh, it's the industry's new version of what the car of the future is going to be. And if you think of the car as a robot on wheels or a computer on wheels, a lot of the architecture needs to be redone. Um, so that part we are working on as we speak. Uh, so I would say many of these things that you see in this car today, we hope to pre put it into our product. Fantastic. Thanks. I want one. <laughs> um, so that actually concludes our broadcast session. For those of you that are, that are in the room, please stick around. We'd love to answer your questions. If you're interested in finding out more about NEO, please visit us at neo.io. Thanks for joining us.